Hello guys and welcome to my second episode of Learn to Win. Now, basically lately I've been trying to play more carefully as I did before. I'm not as aggressive anymore, sometimes I am for no reason, but uh, anyways I try to learn to be more careful. And the reason for that is simple. Uh, I want to like uh, basically raise my win rate a bit because since I'm uh, now in RSOP and I'm kind of scrub for RSOP, not kind of but I am scrub for RSOP because most of those guys are with the 65% average uh, win rate in PvP. I am not nowhere close to that but I try to learn, I try to get better. Now the reason for that is simple, uh, the more battles you win, more experience you earn and obviously more credits. And uh, I want to raise my win rate simply to be like, uh, like at least worthy <laughs> to be one of the RSOP members. They accepted me, yeah, because we played a lot in uh, platoons before, uh, and also we play now from time to time. And after this battle, if you watch closely, be closely beginning, I went to platoon with Venus and also with uh, Mosquito, but that you can see right here. But uh, basically, yeah, and we played without Teamspeak, and we did very, very good yesterday. I I would say very good, maybe for them it was bad, because we had like uh, 65 or 70% win rate, so yeah, when we played together those games. Now, what I want to do in this video is basically first, uh, until you see here the boring part, is uh, make a shout out to Darok. Simply he was the reason why I joined RSOP, because I found his channel long long time ago when I started Armored Warfare, and his videos uh, at that point was uh, without commentary, mostly it was uh, platoon uh, epic gameplays uh, with, the, with the live chat and stuff, with the team speak basically, and he also does upload the tournament videos. But lately, last two videos he made is amazing. They are both with commentary and both uh, videos explains what he does, when he does and why he does. And those videos uh, taught me one simple thing, how to raise my win rate, is to be more careful. And in this battle I was as careful as possible I can be in Weasel. Now, of course, you cannot camp with a weasel on the back and just uh, snipe with autocannon. So, basically, you just uh, <laughs> have to do what the weasel does best and it's cause chaos. Basically, weasel is great uh, in distraction, distracting the enemies. And uh, if you play weasel with anti-tank guided missiles, you are doing it wrong. Trust me, whoever plays weasel with anti-tank guided missiles don't know how to play weasel. BMD4 is for missiles. You can get 50 missiles with BMD-4. So if you want to shoot missiles, simply choose BMD-4. It has more hit points, it has 50 missiles, it also has auto cannons against AFVs. Because what's the main job of AFV besides spotting is to neutralize enemies' view range. Simple as that. So you have to take out enemies' AFVs as soon as possible in the battles. Of course, surviving and also stay alive for as long as possible because the longer you are alive the longer you can sp keep spotting the enemies and that's the reason why i would never ever put uh, anti-tank guided missiles on weasel because weasel because of its size is a perfect for flanking perfect for flanking perfect for spotting on the move it's basically great vehicle with auto cannon there is no shame that you cannot penetrate main battle tanks frontally because Weasel doesn't need to do that. Weasel can just go around and kill from behind. And this video will simply prove how effective can be auto cannons. At the end of this battle, I will be left alone against three main battle tanks. And they will do the worst thing for me that they can do, but from the other hand, the best thing they can do. They will all try to cap. And why it's the worst thing? Because time will be my enemy. The best thing is that I know exactly where the enemies are located and that's the reason why uh, you have to have an auto cannon. With the anti-tank guided missiles I couldn't, I couldn't, I simply couldn't smoke them all out from there, where they were. I could take my distance, I could spot them, I could like shot uh, anti-tank guided missiles but there's plenty of cover for them to just take cover as soon as they see the anti-tank guided missiles incoming. So yeah, there's that. And right here, you can you can just perfectly. It, this battle is not about damage. It I won't get the I will get basically highest uh, damage from both teams, but it won't be like ten thousand or something. I had a uh, much much higher damage battles than this one, and there were also lost battles. Uh, I also won with like seven eight thousand. Uh, one battle I even had to nine and a half thousand, but that was mostly like pretty easy. It's uh, yeah, 
like uh, <laughs> I had like let's say clueless enemies so yeah it's it's not always about damage this battle is more about carrying and just simply winning uh, when battles seem to be lost because most of us when we would get uh, like uh, left alone against three main battle tanks and one of them is this this Abrams he was so annoying so annoying so annoying and he's actually uh, believe it or not he will be the last one in this battle who will die because trust me he was so annoying uh, I would believe that he's a good player because he did basically what uh, the enemies needed to do to win uh, the two two of main battle tanks were capping and this guy right here was tracing me was tracing me bad but he didn't go too far from the cap he always sticked around in case I come closer and he just didn't gave me like uh, easy <laughs> easy time to kill the, the capping points so basically yeah points <laughs> capping enemies basically right now I'm heading around I want to flank now obviously as you can see I cannot get any shots from the back but Luckily for me, Centaur appears. And I put some shots into him. That's actually Venus, yeah, right there. He's a great player, but yeah. In this battle, it will work in my favor. He will just simply now uh, go back and just don't, won't expect me from behind because he saw me retreating and he thinks I will go away. But I will not. I just want to take him out as soon as possible because what I want to, at the moment, what I want to neutralize is view range, speed and DPM. And that's what I do now. First I kill Centaura, now I go away because simply I want to find VBL and BMD4. I need to find them, I need to kill them. Because afterwards I can just lay the enemies out. Cap is in the middle of the map. That means I can spot from outside of the city. And that can work in my favor. So basically I want to now, uh, I wanted to help my teammate here right here, TAD. He just goes in for no reason. He simply does it wrong. You shouldn't like go against the uh, multiple enemies because you can see that all the enemies were spotted around that hill So at least some of them will be there and the TAD will just die shortly Because simply yeah, he didn't care much. He didn't care for the victory Probably he thought since we are three against six we will lose this one But that's not the point you have to always try your best to just simply do what you can You don't have to blame team always you just have to like analyze when you die in battle or when you lose the battle, what could you, you yourself, what could you do differently? And that's what I am trying to do lately because simply I see how Darok plays and it just seems that <laughs> it's too easy for him. And But I often die, I often lose and uh, that's why I just want to, you know, learn proper steps how to carry battles. And right here I saw the VBL before and I want to meet him again. And simply I get spotted, as you as you could saw, see, basically, sorry guys, uh, as you could see, he spotted me first, but in close distance, uh, VBL is no match for Weasel, Weasel simply shreds apart VBL, and you saw that we were, I was heading straight to him, and he was almost standing still, but he still only hit few of his shells to, uh, uh, to me, basically, at least few of them only d did damage. And that's because the auto cannons have been uh, nerfed with this uh, shot delay or, or any kind of thing. But it's not only auto cannons. Most of the guns now are very inaccurate. Trust me, often your shells will fly away <laughs> outside of your circle, outside from where you aim, and sometimes even on the right, on the left side of, of, of your aim. That's that's how it is. I got used to that, so I hope you can get also. And I think they will fix this in the future because I don't believe that this is how it should be. So at the moment, T80 simply died, and I yeah, one of the guys called him idiot, and I just uh, yeah, put affirmative because simply that's what he did. He did stupid thing by going on the multiple enemies in T80. T80 has quite strong uh, frontal armor, but the sides are quite weak, and multiple enemies will just shred you apart quite easily. Now here, Centaro. At the moment, he does a good job. He spots uh, a main battle tanks before they spot him and he just puts some shots into him. But soon enough, he will also do something very, very stupid and just simply die. At the moment, I want to see where enemies are heading and I am spotting. So I'm hoping that Centauro 120 will just simply assist me. Since he has uh, alpha damage, he has penetration, he has DPM. I don't have any of those. I have DPM, but it's only when I land all my, all my shots. So. I see that at least two enemies are now in the cap, simply by the time you can see on the top. This is encounter and normally the capture is long. 
So what I do, I want to go around and spot from the other side, hoping that Centaro will be able to see them. If not, he could move to like uh, B2 on the bridge and from there shoot them. But what he will do? Just check the minimap and see what he will do. He will do. He will go simply too close and simply donate himself. That's not what you want to do in Centauro. It's big vehicle with almost no armor against main battle tanks, and it's simply a suicide what he's doing now. Weasel, from the other hand, as you can see, I spotted. I want to put like shots in one of the. Basically, Abrams is uh, on most health, so I want to take part of it off. Hoping that Centauro will be able to, or uh, just make him a one shot, or just uh, kill him, or yeah. Let's see what happens right here. As you can see, the Centauro is probably spotted right now, and he's dead. Simply, he went way too close. He could work much better from the distance. So now I am left alone against three main battle tanks. Now my best, my best play here is to just uh, attack from multiple uh, directions and take some hit points off the enemies. But it's not how it will going to work. As you can see, the Abrams is following. Abrams is trying to catch me. He does a great job, but he won't go too far from the cap. Time right now is my enemy, and I need to get around and attack from other angle, because now I was spotted, enemies know where I was. And I simply don't want to attack from the same direction. I just want to go from another direction and just distract the enemies, because I know that for T80 and T72A, if I get on the sides, I can simply kill them. So I just want to get away from the Abrams, hoping that he's following me here, but he wasn't. He was actually going close, and I will soon... I don't know if you could call it a mistake, but I have only 38 seconds left, so I have to head back to the cap. I have to do it, I have to head back. Now, as you can see, Abrams stayed on the bridge, but since time is my enemy right now, I have to get close. And since I'm in the weasel, I'm hoping that uh, I am a small target and hard to hit, I will just try to dodge my shots with my speed. I mean their shots. And right here, I took a shot from the Abrams. Right now I spot T-72A and also T-80 and I see that he's on low health so simply I have to take him off and I have to disappear. My best play here is that um, like, um, I know that when main battle tanks are moving their guns are very inaccurate and that's what for example T-72A was doing. He was trying to move and not allow me to go around him. That's good for him and good for me because I know that if he's moving and aiming on me, he won't be most likely able to hit me. And now I just want to spot again because now I see that it's again 35 seconds means Abrams also came in cap and they are two now in the cap. I want to just take some hit points off the T-72A and I was able to do it. And right now I hear, see the time was uh, went to four minutes. That means Abrams went through the cap and he's coming for me. But here, yeah, I almost could die here. If Abrams would hit me, I would die, but he just didn't care, he even didn't stop to aim, he just pointed the gun at me and shot on the move. And that's most of the times won't work and you will be lucky. Now right here, I try to get out again, of course, and I have almost 4 minutes now, but only 1 minute 40 in the match, so match is close to be over. So I try to save the time and just kill the Abrams, so I didn't run away. I just try to spot him, and this small heal would, could work in my favor, simply if from, uh, no matter from which side he comes, basically I can just flank him and kill him. So here I do my best to just simply put some shots into him, again, and just run away. And now I realize I have to kill that T-72A, no matter what. Since I only have one minute left, two enemies, I have to kill the T-72A. So he was aimed there, he knew that I will come because I was spotted just now. And since he's moving, I know that he most likely won't be able to hit me and I will be able to flank him and just simply take him out. By the way, I did this with auto aim. It still works on these kind of enemies. It doesn't work on a challenger from the side, but from the back it works on everything, so yeah. And right now only 38 seconds left and here is the Abrams. I don't know why he was still here, but yeah, he dies. And it's a victory. I will just simply show you the battle results and I hope you could learn at least something from this match. I did like went on and on about other things and other people in this match, that was not my point of this video, it was just simply to show you that you can, if you are careful enough, you can do it, you can carry the games. And 
right now we will just take a quick look at the battle results and yeah basically guys thanks for watching i will do this again i will upload some other epic gameplays i had uh, like carry matches and stuff and i hope uh, together we can get better this is a gold supply crate sentinel ace tanker gold medal and of course recon yeah um, uh, over 5000 base experience which is quite well for tier 7 vehicle and i did only 2.6 thousand spotting damage Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video.